Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would do an outfit of the night, show you guys what I'm wearing. I will stand back there and tell you what I've got on and then come back and explain everything on my face. I just wanted to say thank you for hanging in there. I know I have not made a video in quite some time. It's just been crazy around here lately and I don't get much of a chance um, to hop on and record, mainly because my kids are always running around and they're like really rambunctious lately and crazy. So anyway, let me show you what I have on. Okay, so I've got on a pair of um, the Prabble Garung or Gurung um, sandals from Target that I've had for about a year now. And then this skirt from Express that's just black and white stripe. Um, it's a midi skirt, so it's longer than usual. And I like it when my legs are like that, but when I'm standing up straight, it kind of loses shape right here, and I'm not liking that too much. But it's a really pretty skirt, and I do like the way it fits. I'm just thinking I might get this kind of, you know, tailored a little bit more so that it's at my knee and not so, so long. Because it's midi, so it's supposed to be longer. But like I said, it just loses shape when I'm standing up, you know, with both my legs like that. And I think that this would just be a little bit more flattering um, if it was shorter. So anyway, that's that whole midi skirt look and it looks great I think it's a really pretty skirt length um, the whole midi M-I-D-I skirt length um, and if you're tall I think it's very flattering I think if you're short like I am you have to be careful proportional wise and like this one would be way more flattering if that just had more shape in that area if, if you know what I'm talking about I don't know. Maybe, maybe it doesn't bother some people, but for me, I just think it would look better if it was shorter. Um, so anyway, it is from Express. It is a very stretchy kind of knit uh, material, and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. I think it can work dressy-ish, not too dressy, but dressy-ish, as well as um, maybe even beachy with like some flats and like a blue jean jacket or something. Um, so that's that, and that is a very recent purchase. I purchased like four skirts at once um, a little over two weeks ago and yeah just been wearing those little by little so that's that um, and then this is a chambray button down it is that whole um, what is that shirt called it's also by Express um, but the this Portofino it's called the Portofino shirt um, but it, you know, it's got this where it's got a collar and then this and then the buttons that go down the two pockets. Um, and so, yeah, but I've had this one for over like two years, but they do make this shirt in lots of different fabrics um, as well. So it's a really good little option for a shirt. My necklace is from H&M. It's a really pretty, I actually got my mom this necklace for uh, Mother's Day. It was one of her Mother's Day presents because every time I wear it, she's in love with it and she's always like oh I just love that necklace and she thought it was like four different necklaces that I was layering together and I was like no it's just one necklace that has you know four pieces um, on it and so yeah that was one of her Mother's Day presents because it's just a very unique looking piece and you can really kind of play up the stones here if you put this like underneath so that it's a little bit more you know prevalent or you can play it down and put this on top so it just kind of peeks through um, for a little bit more edge. So you can kind of, you know, just play around with the way the necklace fits. But yeah, it's it's one necklace with four <laughs> different things on it, um, but from H&M. And they still have it, like I said, because I just got it for my mother. Um, and then, oh, I also got her this one because she liked this one. I had this one on about a weekend ago and she was like, I love that necklace. And it's just really pretty silver and gold and some turquoise or turquoise. Um, so that was one of her Mother's Day presents. But anyway, that is what I have on my fingers. I've got my wedding rings, my uh, fifth anniversary ring, and my earrings on my face really quickly. I've got on... Okay, so on my face, I have uh, MAC Studio Fix Foundation. I wear the NC15 shade Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC under my eyes. Um, I wear the NW15 shade. Yes, I wear the same shade but different undertones um, in the MAC range. 
uh, on my cheeks, I've got the Milani blush in, what is it called? Luminoso. Luminoso. It's a real pretty coral pink blush. Uh, really pretty. On my lips, I've got Hourglass uh, Femme de Nude Lip Stilo in number three. It's kind of the perfect shade for me. It's in between the one which was very, very pale and then the two which is a little bit more orange and then the four which gets like darker too dark for me so this was a good like neutral for my smoky eye looks but that's what i've got on there and then on my lids i basically just came home and put on a darker shade to smoke up my eye i had been wearing the Too faced natural neutral eyes palette um, for the whole day and then just worked with the crease color that i had put on um, to kind of blend up the smoky color that I ended up throwing on. Um, but it's from the Alluring Aquatics Collection, Max Collection, and it's called Soul Serenade. And it's a really pretty brown with like a gray tone to it. So it's kind of a cool tone brown um, with a lot of like little sparkle. And the sparkle really does show up. It's not, You're not gonna really see it on the camera, but it shows up in real life and it's really, really pretty. Beautiful swatch. There's also a shade called Lorelei that I think is absolutely gorgeous, but it's always sold out. So hopefully I can get my hands on that um, in the future. But really pretty shade. Looks like that. And you can shear it out or just build it up. And like I said, I like it as a smoky uh, wash of color. So that's what I have on my face. Uh, my brows, as usual, it's just the MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil and then a MAC Wedge on top. Uh, and that is it. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend so far. And thank you so much for hanging in there. I know it's taken me some time to just record a video and say hi. Um, so I appreciate you uh, hanging in there. Uh, have a great weekend and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.